Hi guys, welcome back to a bookish weekend. My name is Brooke and today we're going to be doing the rapid fire book tag. So I saw this tag over on A Beautiful Chaos of Books and I really wanted to do it myself. The original creator of this tag is Girl Reading, so I'll link both of their videos down below and I highly recommend that you check it out. The reason I am doing this tag is because I have no energy to film at the moment and I just needed a quick, easy video because this heat in England is just straining everything and I just want to be in the pool all the time. It is like half nine and that's why the lighting's really bad because I use natural lighting. But right now I'm having to use my little desk light so sorry if the lighting is really bad and the setup's a bit different because of that reason. And also just leave my slide over here, it's just hanging. I can't move it. It's just, it's just having a fun time really. Anywho, without further ado, let's get on to the questions. The name of the game with this tag is just to answer the questions as quickly as possible. So I have the questions on my laptop here. I'm going to try and go through them as quickly as possible. Ebook or physical book? Physical book. Paperback or hardback? Paperback. Online or in-store book shopping? I love going to bookstores, but online is so much cheaper and that's where I get most of my books from. Trilogies or series? Probably trilogies, because I don't like being too committed to a long series. Heroes of Villains? Villains, obviously. A book you want everyone to read, and that would be... Oh, I don't know. There's so many. I'd probably say Dreamland Burning by Jennifer Latham, just because of the impact it had on me, and I feel like it's something everyone else should know about. Recommend an underrated book, Dreamland Burning by Jennifer Latham. The last book you finished, and that would be The Story of Tracy Beaker by Jacqueline Wilson. The last book you bought, that would probably... 13 Minutes by Sarah Pinborough, I think. Weirdest thing you use is a bookmark? Probably my phone. I don't use that many weird things as a bookmark. I'm boring, but probably my phone. Used books, I just know yes. They are so cheap. I have quite a few used books that I've acquired recently. They are so cheap, and if you get cheap books that you really want, then what's the harm in that? Top three favourite genres? Fantasy, sci-fi, historical fiction. Barrel by buy. I like to have my own copies of books that I've read. Characters of plot. Characters. I really need to love the characters to enjoy the plot. So definitely characters for that one. Long or short books. I'm gonna go long books. Well, I do like a quick short but overall, I tend to be more attached to long books. Long or short chapters. Short chapters. I can't deal with long chapters. Name of the first three books you can think of: Puck's Spring of Wallflower, Harry Potter, and Philosopher's Stone, and To Kill a Kingdom. Books that make you laugh or cry. Books that make me cry. I don't really laugh a lot at books like out loud, but I'm more likely to cry at books, so books that make me cry. Our world or fictional worlds? Fictional worlds, obviously. Audio books just to know. Yes, I'm actually signed up to Audible, so I listen to audio books every now and then. I think they're great, easy ways to listen to books and consume the story. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Of course I do. All the time. I can't help it. I know you shouldn't, but the reason I didn't want to get the Grisha series was because I hated the covers and when they released the new covers I bought it instantly and I actually really enjoyed the story so <laughs> book to movie or book to TV adaptations and I'm probably going to go book to movie TV adaptations are just too much dedication for me a movie or TV show you prefer to its book, Love, Simon vs. Simon vs. The Home of Sabian's Agenda I loved the movie so much, I did really enjoy the book but I did think the movie was a lot better series or standalones, I'm probably going to go series because I like being like seeing the characters and story develop. Well, I do love a good standalone as well. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with a series there. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was super quick, but I will make sure I get a longer video to you next time. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.